Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I am excited. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Something has been bubbling in my spirit when we were singing these songs of Zion. We live in two worlds. The invisible and the visible. But there is a more powerful world that we should all desire to, to understand. It is the invisible world. Praise his wonderful name. Hallelujah. So the children of God saying when the praises go up, something comes down. Glory to the name of the Lord. When something goes up, be sure something is coming down. But if you don't let it go up, Nothing is coming down on you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Speak to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, neighbor I've come to let it go up. So that I can find something coming down. I want us to begin tonight talking about something that God has done. God is a God of purpose. I don't know if you can say amen. 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 God, when He created you and me, He started by finishing you. And then he began the process. I want to share with us briefly tonight because we all face challenges. Because we all look, some look back and they're discouraged. Some look forward, some look into the future. And as well, it brings fear in them. How many of you have had fear of the future? Because when you look into the future, you say, but I can't see far. Now I want to say to you that within every seed, inside a seed is a tree. Amen? Inside every seed, whether it's a mango seed, what is inside that seed? The tree. The tree. Which means the future of that seed is where? In Israel. God put in the seed the tree that shall be. In other words, God did not put in you to project so much into the future because you will be scared. Amen. Some of you are even scared of next month. Some of you are even scared. If I am here for days, what is going to be my salary? 
Amen. Some of us are afraid of trying anything because we are afraid of failing. Whether God speaks to you, whether you have got a bright idea, but you always say, but how about if I fail? Hello, come on, me. How about if I, if I fail? Some of us are even afraid to stand up and say, I can sing for God. How about if I make a discord? So what destroys people to be successful is the fear of failure. Let's not be in a hurry tonight. If we go up home to sleep with one concept, it will help us. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason why in your life you are still where you are is because you are afraid of trying something. Whether it's a business, you say, how about if I don't make profit? And once the result you stop trying. Amen. You stop what? Trying. But what God has done in a seed is what he has done in you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. What God has done in a mango seed is exactly that he has done in you. Does a mango seed fear whether it will produce a tree? A tree that will have mangoes. Amen. Amen. But you and me, we are not looking carefully in the word of God. We are looking in the future and we are afraid. We look behind us and we are discouraged. Amen. God created you with a purpose and for a purpose. 6.5 billion people, not one was created as an experiment. Everybody was created by God to fulfill an assignment. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I believe when God created me, He He asked there was a work He wanted me to do. And because of that, He created me. You are not in a mistake. Speak to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. I was created with, I was created with. And, for and for a purpose. Speak to your neighbor again the same words. Neighbor. Amen. Now when you don't have purpose in your life. You have failed before you start. Amen. <laughs> Let's find the book of Proverbs. Let's begin from It's going to be the Pro Proverbs chapter 19.
Let us look at a few things that can encourage us tonight. And that can help us not to be afraid. Who is in Proverbs? Chapter 19. Verse 21. Many are the plans in the man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Everybody say purpose. Many are the plans in an individual's heart, but the purpose. When you're talking about purpose, you are talking about the original intent. When you are talking about purpose, you are talking about the reason why something was created. When you are talking about purpose, you are saying the reason why something is purpose is the reason why something was meant. Hallelujah. The reason why something was was meant is what is purpose let's look at a keyboard amen before this was created the first thing that was done was to discover its purpose amen that when it is created is going to meet that purpose so when God created you, he discovered that you have a purpose to fulfill. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But when you lose purpose, life becomes meaningless. Life becomes trial and error. But when you know you were not born just to work and pay bills, life becomes meaningful. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Many people are not successful because number one, they don't believe they were created for and with a purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But when you know that you were created with a purpose and for a purpose, life makes sense. Praise his wonderful name. Amen. Imagine a mango tree. See, it doesn't even scratch its head whether there is going to be a tree or not because it knows for sure that it was created to produce what? Not mangoes, but a tree. <laughs> Amen. A mango seed was created to produce what? So, it, which means inside a mango seed is a what? It's a tree. Hallelujah. And inside of you is the reason why God created you. Now, I want you not to look too much into the future because you're going to be afraid. I want you to begin to look inside of you. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. Let's begin there. There's something more important that God has placed in you. My question is, does a mango tree look to heaven? A mango seed, does it look to heaven for a tree? Where does it look? Inside where? Inside. Where is the name of the Lord? <laughs> where does an apple seed look for to? Does it look to heaven to bring an apple tree? Where does it look? Inside. Which means when you don't, uh, when you haven't seen oh, hallelujah. what God has put in you, you will always look somewhere else. You will always look to other 
people. God help us. That is why you find what you call success. You look around and see who are you beating? Whom are you better than? Who has a better car than the other? Then if you have got a better car, you say, I am. Amen. Are you understanding that? When you have better clothes, you say, I am. I'm successful. And yet, success is when you discover the reason why you were created and begin to pursue that reason. Oh, praise his wonderful name. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3, are we there? Let's read from verse number 19, I believe. Who is there for me? <coughs> to know this love, this love mm. that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled. Let's look, begin from verse 20. Unfortunately, it's torn in my Bible. <laughs> now to him who is able uh -huh. to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. Mm. According to his power, that is at work within us. <laughs> that is at work where? Within us. No, I want that vision which says that work is in heaven. Somebody's vision? What, what, what I'm trying to say is the reason why God created you, the reason for your success. Is trapped inside you. <coughs> Hallelujah. The success of a mango seed is trapped inside it. <coughs> oh, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Stop looking to the future because that's not where God has put the purpose. Read it again, my brother. Uh, now, mm. unto him that is able to do mm. exceeding ab abundantly uh -huh. above all that we ask or think, uh -huh. according to the power that worketh in, where? Us, in us. According to the power that works where? Yes. Now begin to focus, begin to look, begin to ask God to help you to look inside you. <coughs> what happens when you look back? You see failures. What happens when you look around? You are discouraged. What happens when you look into the future? You are afraid. Now what is the better place to look? That is where God deposited what? His purpose. Hallelujah. That's the area God said. That's where I have put my purpose. So he says, according to the power that worketh where? Well. Yes. That's why you find in people's lives, they don't want to look for what God has placed inside them. They want to look at other people. All right? They want to look at who? At other people and say, I am better than... Eh? I am better than. Amen. 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 But when God tonight will give you a revelation to look at what He has put in you. Amen. 
Oh, glory to the name of the Lord. Now, listen, church. The greatest men that have impacted the world, let me show you, they didn't live very long. Mm. Hello? Mm. Look at Martin Luther King. How long did he live? But what did he do? He did not look at something. He looked at what was in him and started to walk believing what he was doing and what he was saying. Amen. Now please follow this. We might close on this. So that we can allow people to go and rest. I want to say you don't have forever to fulfill your purpose. Amen? You only have a limited time to fulfill what God has put where? In you. Is somebody following? Is somebody following? Say amen. amen. Who is on Ecclesiastes chapter 3? Verse number 1. You don't have forever. If you are there, quickly jump to that one. To everything there is a season and a time for every matter or purpose under heaven. To everything there is a what? A season. Now I love the next verse. And what? A time for every matter. Everybody of say time. time. Say that again. Time. Now God created time. Hallelujah. But when He created time, God does not live in time. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let me say again. God created what? But when he created time, he himself does not live where? Where does he live? He lives in eternity. Hallelujah. In other words, when you say time, you are talking about something that is a starting point. Hallelujah. Are, are you with me? Now, God interrupted eternity. Pulled the peace outside eternity. Praise God. And he called it what? Are we together? What does eternity mean? Forever and in other words, God lives in forever. 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 God does not live in time. But you and me live where? Praise the name of the Lord. Come, brother. Come, brother. What God put inside here? Amen. Amen. What God put where? It's his spirit. Yes. Amen. 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 Now, that spirit is coming from forever. forever. From, forever. but he put it in this body yes. that lives in time. Amen. 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 So to everything, there is a what? When you are saying time, you are saying from beginning to where? So be very careful. Let me help you with what is helping me. If you don't want to live in time, Go to heaven. Amen. Amen. If you don't want to live where? Go where? That's where they don't have what? But when you come here on earth, you, have, you are living where? And you have a purpose to fulfill where? That's why you have got 
a day. That's why you have got a week. That's why you have got a month. This is time. Hallelujah. That's why you have got a year. So God has given you time to fulfill your, your purpose. So if you sit down and fold your hands and do nothing about searching for your purpose that God has placed in you, you don't have what? Some people are living today behind and some people are on and some people are on offer. Hallelujah. Those that are behind, you might die before you complete your purpose. Those that are on time, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By how many of those are on time? Amen. Because to everything they say what? Hallelujah. I love Hezekiah because I want to believe he lived his life on time. Amen. How many of you have read about Hezekiah? He lived on what? But God said, Hezekiah, it's what? For you to what? Oh, come on. You didn't read about Hezekiah. He's the only man who asked God for overtime. Hello. He lived on time. Read again. And I'll move a little bit further. In, 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 a, in Ecclesiastes. To everything there is a season. And a time for every matter of purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. Can you see? There is a what? A time to be what? But between burning, there is also a time to what? So between these times, you must work to discover why you were born. Now there's a time. God said to him, Hezekiah, your time is what? And he begged God, he said, God, please, give me what? Let's all say overtime. God begged, give me what? Hallelujah. How many of you need overtime? <laughs> Hello? How many of you need overtime? Are you sure? You need overtime? What do you want to do with that time? Huh? I'm talking of work, overtime, and work. I'm talking of overtime in life. Let me say to you. More of those overtimes, that money really doesn't come. <laughs> Go and check your pay slip. The more overtime, the less you earn. <sighs> Please help me. Is it true? But when you work on time, Amen. Amen. Speak to your neighbor and say, neighbor, Amen. down here, down here. It's, time. it's time. 
you can look at yourself and see it. You are really wasting what? Time. The time you need to be very serious about worshipping Him and pray, you are really wasting what? Time. People think when they live to about 100 years, they will do many things. Amen. How long would you want to live? Hello. How long do you want to live? Let's be sincere. Praise the name of the Lord. You have time to find out what God has put in you. When you when Paul Pastor was talking about Paul. Amen. He discovered Jesus Christ. Amen. And he did not waste. In a very short space of time, if you have discovered your purpose, you can impact your community. You can impact the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The key is in finding out what God has created you for. Amen. suicide you always leave a note for somebody and the note reads I found no reason amen those that are going to school our children are you not wasting because you are not going to be at mama's house and daddy's house forever. <laughs> Amen. 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 Now when Ezekiah was given 15 more years of a time, he made the worst mistakes that he never made when he was in his time. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Overtime doesn't pay! <laughs> Hallelujah! I said overtime doesn't pay. Amen. Look at Jesus Christ. 33 and that is finish. We are still here for him. Amen. Amen. People that have discovered their purpose don't even live very long. Amen. But those that want over time. 
which means you were given what? But that extra you did not what? Use it. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope they're not a fit with me. believe God is going to help us to make use of time. Your success is trapped inside of you. But many times the reason why we are where we are It's because we haven't discovered what God has put inside of us. And so we waste time. Waste time. time by competing with each other and when you beat me in some things you say I am successful or you are successful the only one who knows you are successful is you and God success is not having a lot of money is not having a house by a beach success is finding out your purpose and pursuing it. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. That's success. Yes. You will always find someone whom you are better than. Are you successful? Because you are better than somebody. Real success are men and women, boys and girls, young men and young ladies that have discovered their purpose, that have discovered the reason why they were created. Those are successful people. When you discover why God created you and you fulfill the reason, then you are successful. But when you think you have got a mortgage and so and so does another mortgage and therefore you are better, you will be like a man who has put a ladder on your wall and started climbing higher. That ladder, when he gets to the top, he kicks the ladder. The moment the ladder falls down, he discovers that it was a wrong wall altogether. Is finding your purpose. And always touching on God. Lord, help me how to fulfill this purpose. Always tapping on God. How am I going to fulfill this purpose? When you discover it, when you find it, you can never depart on God's door. Always saying, how am I going to fulfill this purpose? Some of you are preachers. But you are afraid. Some of 
you, God called you in the ministry, but you are afraid. Then there's a time you are going to ask for overtime. God, give me overtime. Because you wasted time. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, when people wanted to make this television, They did not just start making it. Say amen if you are with me. They started by drawing. Amen. And putting all the components together on paper. Say amen if you are with me. They started putting the future. Amen. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. God started by putting your future. inside of you. Hallelujah. And then he comes back and he says, let me create now a vessel that can carry this business to the future. Praise the name of the Lord. The God you have come to worship today some other time. Amen. But I'm saying your future Hallelujah. is God's yesterday. Please can you whisper to your neighbor that? Say my brother away. Your future is God's past. Can somebody give God the glory? Somebody give God the glory. God completes you. Hallelujah. And then he says, Now you begin. Something that he has already. Something he has already. Yes. Where is fear coming from? Where is fear coming from? If God has done it, has done it. How many of you believe that God has already done it? How many of you believe he has done your life already? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now you need to begin and not be afraid of the future. It is God's past. You need to attack the future with confidence, especially if God is leading the way. that we are going to sleep. Let something stand out inside of you. Let something stand out unchallenged. Praise God. You were not created to be a failure. Inside of you, inside of you, there is success. Inside of a mango seed, there is a dream. Inside of you. Praise God. 